Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer on this Wednesday, the 3rd of March. Let us pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> A song of penitence. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offenses. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning. It is now. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm number 35. Psalm 35. Give me justice, O oh Lord my God, according to your righteousness. Contend, O Lord, with those that contend with me. Fight against those that fight against me. Take up shield and buckler and rise up to help me. Draw the spear and bar the way against those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those who seek after my life be shamed and disgraced. Let those who plot my ruin fall back and be put into co to confusion. Let them be as chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord thrusting them down. Let their way be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. For they have secretly spread a net for me without a cause. Without any cause they have dug a pit for my soul. Let ruin come upon them unawares. Let them be caught in the net they laid. Let them fall in it to their destruction. Then will my soul be joyful to the Lord and glory in his salvation. My very bones will say, Lord, who is like you? You deliver the poor from those that are too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who would despoil them. False witnesses rose up against me. They charged me with things I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good, to the desolation of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, I put on sackcloth and humbled myself with fasting. When my prayer returned empty to my bosom, it was though I grieved for my friend or brother. I behaved as one who mourns for his mother, bowed down and brought very low. But when I stumbled, they gathered in delight, 
they gathered together against me. As if they were strangers I did not know, they tore at me without ceasing. When I fell, they mocked me, they gnashed at me with their teeth. O oh Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue my soul from their ravages, and my poor life from the young lions. I'll give you praise to the great congregation. I'll praise you in the mighty throng. Do not let my treacherous foes rejoice over me, or those who hate me without a cause mock me with their glances. For they do not speak of peace, but invent deceitful schemes against those that are quiet in the land. They opened wide their mouths and derided me, saying, We have seen it with our very eyes. This you have seen, O Lord, do not keep silent. Go not far from me, O Lord. Awake, arise to my cause, to my defence, my God and my Lord. Give me justice, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness. Let them not triumph over me. Let them not say to themselves, our hearts desire. Let them not say, we have swallowed him up. Let all who rejoice at my trouble be put to shame and confusion. Let those who boast against me be clothed with shame and dishonour. Let those who favour my course rejoice and be glad. Let them say always, Great is the Lord who delights in his servants' well-being. So shall my tongue be talking of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. Give me justice, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness. Glory to the Father, Amen. and to the Son, Amen. and to the Holy Amen. Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is there, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading this morning is written in the eighth chapter of Jeremiah, beginning at verse 18 and 19 to 9. My joy is gone, grief is upon me, my heart is sick. Hark the cry of my poor people from far and wide in the land. Is the Lord not in Zion? Is her king not in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their images, with their foreign idols? The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the hurt of my poor people, I am hurt. I mourn, and dismay has taken no hold of me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then has the health of my poor people been not been restored? Oh, that my head were a spring of water and my eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slain of my poor people. Oh, that I had in the desert a traveller's lodging place, that I might leave my people and go away from them. For they all adulterers, a band of traitors. They bend their tongue like bows. They have grown strong in the land for falsehood and not for truth. For well, they proceed from evil to evil, and they do not know me, says the Lord. Beware of your neighbours, and put no trust in any of your kin, for all your kin are supplanters, and every neighbour goes around like a slanderer. They all deceive their neighbours, and no one speaks the truth. They have taught their tongues to speak lies. They commit iniquity and are too weary to repent. Oppression upon oppression, deceit upon deceit. They refuse to know me, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, I will now refine and test them. What else can I do with my sinful people? Their tongue is the deadly arrow. It speaks deceit words to their neighbours. They speak all friendly words to their neighbours, but inwardly are planning to lay an ambush. Shall I not punish them for these things, says the Lord? And shall I not bring retribution on a nation such as this? 
Take up weeping and wailing for the mountains and lamentation for the pastures of the wilderness, because they are laid waste that no one passes through, and the lowing of cattle is not heard. Both the birds of the air and the animals have fled and are gone. I will make Jerusalem a heap of ruins, a lair of jackals, and I'll make the towns of Judah a desolation without inhabitation. Here ends the song of Manasseh. Full of compassion, love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God most high. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O oh God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O oh God, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me according to your great mercy. For all the host of heaven sings your praise, and your glory is forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Okay. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God, the Most High, the Almighty. <clears throat> Second reading this morning is from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 6, beginning to read <laughs> at the 60th verse. When many of his disciples heard it, they said, this teaching is difficult, who can accept it? But Jesus, being aware that his disciples were complaining about it, said to them, does this offend you? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, the flesh is useless. The words that I have spoken are to you are spirit and life, but among you there are some who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who were the ones that did not believe and who was the one that would betray him. And he said, for this reason, I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted by the Father. Because of this, many of the disciples turned back and no longer went about with him. So Jesus asked the twelve, do you also wish to go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Jesus answered them, Did I not choose you, the twelve? Yet one of you is a devil. He was speaking of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, for he, the one of the twelve, was going to betray him. Here ends the second reading. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. The Benedictus. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be 
the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Let us pray. So at the beginning of this new day, let us pray for the church and for the world. Let us thank God for his goodness. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promise through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith. We pray for you today. As we gather our thoughts this morning, we look towards our waking hours this day. We pray for all that you are doing and pray that you, Lord, will guide us through this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear We pray for the church. We pray especially for our diocese this day. We pray for our bishops, for Pete and Sophie. And all those who lead our diocese at the time. We pray for our own parish. We pray for our church wardens as they will meet this evening. We pray for them in their responsibilities at this time as they plan the way forward. We ask that you will guide us Your Holy Spirit is with us. As we plan not only the next week, the months and the year ahead. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. At this time of decision making government. We pray for this day, for the decisions that we made on our behalf, decisions that will affect our lives at this time. We pray for wise governments. We pray for patience as we continue to seek to move forward, to find a pathway out of the pandemic. Lord, may all those who lead us have wisdom and confidence and sensitivity 
to those they are called to serve. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer this day, in body, mind, or spirit. For all those in our hospital, in our nursing homes, in our hospice, we pray for your healing presence with them at this time, that they will have courage and hope in their troubles. May your love surround their families as those who worry and care for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Remember those who have died in the faith of Christ. We call to mind those who we have loved and see no longer. For those who have helped us in our own journey of faith, who have supported us. We pray for those who are particularly lonely at this time, for those who feel the pain of their loss, even perhaps for many years. And we pray for those whose anniversaries are at this time. Lord, in your presence, hear our prayer. Lord, as we pray for this day, we ask you to bless our families and our friends. We pray for those who we will not see or have contact with, and those who look away from us, perhaps separated by many miles, maybe great distance. It's in these moments of prayer we hold them before you. And may through our prayers, we feel a closeness to them. We give you thanks for friends, for family, for those who we love and those who love us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. On this day, we lift our prayers to you, our living Lord. We commend ourselves and all those for whom we have prayed to your unfailing love. Merciful Father, accept for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the colleagues for this day. Almighty God, you show to those who are in error the light of your truth, that they may return to the way of righteousness. Grant to all those who are admitted into the fellowship of Christ's religion, that they may reject those things that are contrary to their profession, and follow all such things as are agreeable to the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, yeah. hallowed be your name. Your kingdom, kingdom come. Your, your will be done. On earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sin, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for the kingdom, the kingdom the power, the and the glory. the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.